This is the original bottom plate. Um, I need to explain something. When the scooter was on here and I was putting the motor on and I was running it up, this, as you'd notice, went on the top like that. Or like that. That means that the scooter was upside down and the wheel was turning that way. Well, if you reverse it, because this goes on the bottom, the wheel goes that way. So it wasn't going backwards. The amount of people who've said it's going backwards. No, it wasn't. By my very accurate digital calipers, uh, this is, I presume that's supposed to be uh, one, on, one and a half mil thick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a carbon fibre sheet, one and a half mil thick, and we'll compare the weights. All I'm worried about is, is that, I mean this is quite, it's not very strong at all. I'm going to leave these on so as I can put the same on the carbon fibre one and then I'll weigh it because otherwise I'm not going to know where these go. Anyway, it's only going to be single sided carbon so there's going to be a rough side which will be the inside which I'm going to insulate. This is a mirror. <laughs> uh, I've stolen it out of the bathroom, be alright, I don't need it. <laughs> the first thing I've got to do is put a release on it. Now I don't know whether to use the PVA glue or wax. I've decided I'm going to use wax. Uh, PVA will leave a sheen over the top. I've got to wax it anyway and then I can put PVA over the top uh, but like I say PVA does leave a mark and I, I haven't got any spray equipment to put it on so the only way I could do it is with a brush or, or you know wipe it over. So I'm going to use wax. So I'm going to do five layers of this leaving it to dry in between coats and then I'll come back. I've got to get 124 grams of epoxy, which is the amount, that's the weight of the material that I'm using. So it's generally, you know, whatever the amount of material you're using, that's how much epoxy you mix. So, I suppose I should have marked it out, shouldn't I? <laughs> I need about that width. I didn't do a demolding or whatever uh, video because it was quite straightforward. Literally, I got um, I got a blade underneath the corner of it like that, and then got that went like that, levered it up, popped it off easy. Um, this is 1.5, mil. I'm not going to weigh it yet because I want to put all the bits and pieces on. Like I weighed this and then I can compare the, the the overall weight, but I need to cut this to size. Now it hasn't come out perfect on that side. Uh, it's come out better than I thought to be honest. But what I'm going to do is, because it's a lot bigger, I'm going to choose the best part and then cut it out. Now these, these are identical now. Uh, I've had to put a layer of, uh, this is anti-cut tape I think it is. Uh, it is quite thick. That's purely because all the electronics are going to be sitting on here and I don't want it in direct contact or anywhere near carbon fibre because carbon fibre is conductive. So, that's all on there and the foam and everything else. 333 grams, that's for the original one. 211. So that is at least 12 kilo saved. <laughs> uh, this is strong. This one isn't strong. 
I mean this this one here look I can bend that quite easily this one that's it that's as far as I can get it This is far from perfect, it hasn't got the perfect shine on it, but I've spent way too long on this. <laughs> I've got other things I've got to get done, so I've got to move on. So I've got to fit it, uh, I've had to grind the bloody screws down, because the ones that I've got are too long. Uh, these are domed, what's it, nuts, screws, bolts, that was it. Before I get my assistant to help me turn this over, because it always ends in tears with me, it's done. It's on. You'll never see it again. <laughs> it was a bit of a fruitless exercise, I suppose, that it's just not going to be seen and it's going to get trashed. I don't know. <laughs> was it worth it? Was it really, really worth it?